Welcome back everybody. Uh, this video we're going to be talking about solving equations with mostly variables in them. They're also known as literal equations where you have two or more variables uh, in the equation and you're just trying to isolate one of them. So on this one it says solve for b. Notice what's happening to b. It's being multiplied by 3 pi. It's also being multiplied by c. So s is equal to 3 pi times b times c. In order to undo those items and get b by itself, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3 pi c. Do it to the other side as well. 3 pi and c. Now notice what happens. The c on the left side, c is going to cancel out, pi is going to cancel out, and 3 is going to cancel out. Technically they don't really cancel out. What happens is they're becoming the number 1, which we don't have to write, and that's going to isolate b. So we have s over 3 pi times c, and that is how we solve for b. Yes, we don't know the exact number that b is, but we've isolated it. We got it by itself. And that's what these problems are all about. Let's look at another one here. Solve for h. Um, h a, the equation is a times h plus c equals g. We're going to distribute the a first. And that's going to give us a h plus a c. Because distributing is when you're actually multiplying. Now to isolate h, first thing we're going to do is take away this ac term from both sides, minus ac on both sides. Remember, you can do anything you want to in an equation as long as you keep it balanced and do it to both sides. So in g, notice there's definitely no like terms over here on the right. g minus ac, I'm just keeping that written as is. Then we'll divide both sides by the letter a h is by itself now and we have g minus a c on the top and a on the bottom and that is what how we solve for h meaning we get it by itself yes over here on the right is not a nice simple term but um, we don't know what g a or c is but we just have the combination of those letters together let's look at another one here this time we're solving for n r equals 9m minus 9n. I'm taking away 9m from both sides of the equation. So that leaves us with 9n equal to r minus 9m. We now need to divide both sides by 9. And that will leave us with n by itself r minus 9m all over 9. That is the isolated variable. Another one here. Here's more application. Uh, this is a trapezoid formula. Trapezoid formula is a equals uh, a plus b multiplied by h and then I'll write it more as a fraction divided by 2. It's written different ways. There's different ways to arrange these, but in a trapezoid, the A and the B are the top and bottom bases, the two sides that are parallel. The H is the height of the trapezoid, and we're dividing by 2, also known as multiply by a half. And we're trying to solve this for B. So first thing we're going to do is multiply both sides of the equation by 2. And on the right side, the twos cancel out or become the number one. And on the left side, we have two times a, two a, and we still have the a plus b multiplied by h. Now, I'm not going to distribute the h just this time. I'm going to divide by it on both sides. So we're trying to isolate b, so we're kind of leaving a and b alone for a minute. So here's the expression we have, 2a over h is equal to a plus b. All right, and then the final step is if we're going to be taking away this a from both sides, lowercase a. All right, 
and I'll clean up the answer a little bit of, uh, over here. B is by itself here on the left side and we have 2 capital A divided by B minus lowercase a. And yeah, they have the two of the same variable, but one A stands for area, the capital A stands for area, and the lowercase a is just one of the two bases of the trapezoid. It's kind of messy, 2A over B minus A, but that is what we have when we isolate B. Another application problem says the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is P equals two times L plus W, solve for W. Yeah, this also can be written the, or, the origin of this formula. Just know that if you find the perimeter of a rectangle, you have length plus length plus width plus width. That's how you find the perimeter of anything, the distance all the way around. But this has been simplified, so there's 2L and 2W. All right, what we're going to do first, let me get it rewritten here. Notice what's happening to W. It's being multiplied by 2 outside of a parentheses, and we're also adding L. First thing, divide both sides by 2. Get rid of that 2. So then we have P over 2 equals L plus W. I'm going to take away L from both sides. So we have P over 2 minus L, the length of the rectangle equals W. Notice the W is isolated. It equals the quantity P over 2 minus L. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully this helps your understanding in solving equations for specific variables, also known as solving literal equations.